Ladies and gentlemen, I have heard people doubt the effectiveness and transformative force of prayer. Today many people argue and believe that prayers do not work. It's time to wake up from ignorance and allow the power of prayer at work amongst us to take control of our situations in the midst of storms and calmness. It takes the prayer of a righteous soul for a nation to experience God's intervention. This is why prayer is not just talking but talking to the Almighty God. This is a privilege that we all have through the grace of Jesus Christ. When the curtain was torn into two, God gave us the right to approach His throne with confidence so that we find grace and mercy in times of need. The Bible says that we should not lean on our own understanding and that in all our ways acknowledge Him and He shall direct our paths. Therefore confess your sins for the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Ask and it will be given to you, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Which of you, if your son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a snake? If you, then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? For the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well, the Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. This is why the Bible says that in the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. In the sacred pages of the Bible, we encounter heroes of faith who knelt in vulnerability, lifted their voices, and connected with the divine. Their stories echo across millennia, resonating with our own struggles, hopes, and aspirations. Hannah, a woman of deep longing, poured out her heart before God. In her barrenness, she wept at the temple, her lips moving silently. And there, in the hallowed space, she made a vow, Lord Almighty, if you will only look on your servant's misery and remember me, and not forget your servant but give her a son, then I will give him to the Lord all the days of his life, 1 Samuel 1 verse 11. God heard her cry. Samuel, the prophet who anointed kings, was born, a living testament to the power of persistent prayer. Hannah's barrenness transformed into a legacy of blessing. Daniel, a man of unwavering devotion, faced a den of hungry lions. His crime? Praying to the living God. Yet, he did not waver. He continued to seek God's face, even when it meant defying earthly authorities. In that dark pit, God shut the lions' mouths. Daniel emerged and scathed, a living testimony that faithful prayer defies earthly limitations. When we pray, we invite God into our circumstances, and He transforms the impossible into the miraculous. Elijah, the fiery prophet, stood alone on Mount Carmel. The prophets of Baal danced, cut themselves, and cried out to their silent God. But Elijah? He prayed a simple prayer, Lord, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known today that you are God in Israel and that I am your servant. 1 Kings 18 verse 36. Fire fell from heaven, consuming the altar. The people fell on their faces, declaring, The Lord, He is God. Elijah's prayer ignited revival, proving that prayer is the catalyst for divine intervention. Jabez, a man seemingly destined for obscurity, prayed a daring prayer, Oh, that you would bless me indeed, and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me, and that you would keep me from evil. 1 Chronicles 4 verse 10. God granted his request. Jabez stepped beyond his limitations, and his name became synonymous with bold faith. Our prayers, too, can break through boundaries, enlarging our impact for God's kingdom. Finally, we turn to Jesus, our Savior. In the Garden of Gethsemane, he wrestled with the weight of the cross. His prayer dripped with anguish, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me, yet not my will, but yours be done, Luke 22 verse 42. God's answer was not to remove the cup but to strengthen Jesus for the journey ahead. Through his surrender, salvation unfolded. Jesus' prayer changed the course of eternity. Dear friends, let us emulate these prayer warriors. When life's lions roar, when our hearts ache, when we face impossible odds, let us kneel, lift our voices, and trust that the God who answered Hannah, Daniel, Elijah, Jabez, and Jesus still hears us today. May our prayers ignite revival, expand our territories, and align our wills with His. For in prayer, we find not only answers but also communion with the Almighty, the greatest privilege known to humanity. So, let us pray without ceasing, for our God is faithful. Amen.